Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to another House of the Dragon video. And today I have something special for you with a special guest and I'll give you the top five reasons or just five reasons why you should watch House of the Dragon. And as I mentioned, we have a very special guest. You may have seen him on a video series I did a couple years ago, If Game of Thrones Had Rednecks. Please welcome the notorious Eddie Stark. Eddie, thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate you being here. This damn wig you got me in, I swear to God. Hell yeah, thanks for having me. So let's jump right in. Reason number one, it's based off a completed book. That's right, this is going to be based off Fire and Blood, Volume 1 by George R. R. Martin. It is a completed book, as well as The Rogue Prince, which is another book talking about Daemon Targaryen, who will be essentially the main character. So I don't think we have to worry about... Eddie, what are you... Oh, sorry, my bad. You mean ain't this gonna make up shit like Brant being the damn king or or Johnny taking off living with a bunch of damn Yankees? Hell, even worse, they did that pretty blonde girl just wrong, making her go heel turn. What is this, the WWF? It's WWE, Eddie. Hadn't been WWF in about, I don't know, 20 years or something. And could you kind of keep the cussing down? We don't want to be demonetized on YouTube. Anyway, as I was saying, it is based off a completed book. So the chances of uh, a GOT season eight type scenario are negligible. They do have a completed script and it will not be repeating the mishap of Game of Thrones season eight. You mean clusterfuck? Yeah, clusterfuck. Number two, George R. R. Martin himself likes the episodes from season one. Now, according to his blog, he's watched basically season one of House of the Dragon. Well, shit, and you he, think he's going to say if he didn't like them? You think he's just going to say, well, they're all right. That's that's a fair point. That He's got a fair point. Damn right. Anyway, George R. R. Martin does seem to like the episodes, and you could tell in the later seasons of Game of Thrones, he was agitated every time he was talking about it on camera, about how they changed things, what they chose to do, etc. And even though he gave them the major parts of the ending as far as who was going to be doing what, he clearly didn't like them subverting expectations. And who is they? Well, Eddie, that brings me into number three. D&D &D are not involved. I feel like I should have said this in the very beginning. I think some people still believe they're involved somehow. Dan and Dave are not involved whatsoever. They are long gone from HBO. They'll probably never do TV or movies again, for that matter. And they definitely won't do interviews where they have to answer questions about Game of Thrones Season 8. Hell yeah. And thank baby Jesus. These son of bitches really fucked up a good thing, didn't they? Now, House of the Dragon is being helmed by Miguel Snoposnik and Ryan Condal. And of course, Miguel, as you may remember, did some of the biggest episodes in Game of Thrones, such as Hard Home, Battle of the Bastards, Winds of Winter, etc. Hell, they killed me off in Season 1. Yeah, but that's... Actually, you book accurate, Eddie. They did kill Ned off in book one. Have you read the books, Eddie? Man, hell no. I can't fucking read. I told my maester to fuck off in the seventh grade because I had to go to work. You know, in the north, you've got to go get the harvest in before winter comes. Read? Shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Anyway, number four. They have a massive budget, $20 million per episode. And much like Game of Thrones, it will probably grow throughout the seasons. Jesus Christ. $20 million for one show? I bet I can shoot that son bitch on my fucking flip phone. Well, there's like 17 dragons this time. Remember in the first year, there were only three. So CGI, all that. It's going to be really, really expensive. Which is actually the fifth reason to watch House of the Dragon. There will be a lot of damn dragons. At least 17, as per the showrunners. More dragons? Hell, I didn't get to see them in the first place. Remember, they killed me off before there was any dragons in the damn show. At least Johnny got to ride a dragon, if you know what I mean. That girl was hot. Yes, uh, yes, yes, she was. And there you have it. Five reasons you should bury your got hatchet and join us in watching House of the Dragon starting August 21st. And again, I would like to thank our special guest, Eddie Stark. Really appreciate you joining us. Sure thing. Now I gotta go. It's cold up in here. Gotta go find a fire. Keep my damn feet warm. Yeah, thanks, Eddie. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTubes.